beautifully yours. Today in Phnom Penh, three decades after the Cambodian genocide, the surviving leaders of the Khmer Rouge are finally being brought to trial. Now, the world is watching. But 30 years ago, when Father Francois Ponchot tried to sound the alarm, there were few who would listen. By 1977, the Khmer Rouge had been in power for two years. All those who were opposed to the government were killed, and all those who didn't work quite hard enough were killed. Hundreds of thousands had been worked or starved to death. Perhaps a good chunk, a solid half, died from sickness and a lack of health care. Most of Chan Piap's family had been hauled away to prison. She was the last to go. When the Khmer Rouge took me, my mother cursed them. You killed four of my children. Isn't that enough for you? Now you're taking my last child? I felt so sad for my mother. <laughs> As the Khmer Rouge ravaged Cambodia, much of the outside world remained unaware or uninterested. But Father Ponchot wouldn't give up. I was staying by the Cambodian people's side through the good and the sadness and the suffering. In 1977, he published his startling evidence in a book called Year Zero, one of the first to expose the atrocities like those that happened here. In this former high school, 15,000 people were beaten, tortured, and even subjected to waterboarding. Then they were sent off to the killing fields. 20,000 mass graves like these at Chiung Yek. Here, Him Hoi says he was threatened with death and forced to do some of the dirty work. I was stunned when he dropped to his knees and showed me just what he had done. I would take a metal pipe, he said, and hit prisoners in the neck. The others would finish the job by slitting their throats. Father Ponchot took his accounts of Khmer Rouge brutality to the United Nations. You were telling the world that a genocide was taking place in Cambodia, and yet it continued. I was pretty frustrated. The governments did not react. Countries don't defend human rights. They're always subservient to politics. Hi, Jimmy Carter, do solemnly swear. The inauguration of President Jimmy Carter in January 1977 promised a change. So help me God. Carter vowed to put human rights at the center of U.S. foreign policy. But it would take 15 months for him to publicly condemn the Khmer Rouge as the world's worst violator of human rights. But he took no action to stop the slaughter in Cambodia. Invasion, he says, was not an option. There was a strong nationwide aversion to the United States being a combatant again in this remote part of Asia. Instead, in December 1978, Vietnam invaded Cambodia, fed up after years of cross-border skirmishes. The Vietnamese quickly overthrew the Khmer Rouge, who fled back into the jungle. Now the world could finally see that everything Francois Ponchot had said was true. More than two million Cambodians were dead. The scope of the catastrophe quickly became clear, and in the fall of 1979, President Carter responded. We raised $32 million in special funds 
to alleviate the plight of the Cambodian refugees. But the end of Cambodia's nightmare was the beginning of a diplomatic problem for the United States, one that would test an American president's commitment to human rights. The US faced a tough choice. Who should occupy Cambodia's seat at the United Nations? The Khmer Rouge already held it. Cambodia's new leaders also claimed the seat, but they were supported by Vietnam and the Soviet Union. America's Cold War enemies. I finally decided that we should maintain the status quo because that was the primary uh, desire of all the surrounding nations. The US and 70 other nations voted for the Khmer Rouge, a genocidal regime that had killed a quarter of its own people. Today, Father Francois Ponchot is back in Cambodia tending his flock, but this time with no illusions. No one defends human rights. Governments are cold beasts looking out for their own interests. When we return... I said we have to do something. What makes a person take a stand even when nobody's listening. I actually witnessed it. I was there.